that one. Let me check the audio. Um, Yeti. Okay, let me know if you're able to hear me now. You can hear me now. I can, I'm sure you can hear me. I'm using the MacBook, my, my computer audio. Let me know if you can hear me and is it clear enough and um, I am coming over and, my, um, and there's no background noise or anything. Just let me know. I think that should be okay for now. Okay, I can hear it. Okay, great. I don't know what happened to my microphone, but for some reason, I'm using StreamYard tonight. Thank you. I'm using StreamYard tonight for the first time, and my microphone is not picking up. It shows that it's there, 
but it's not um, picking up. So if I'm clear and you guys are hearing me, perfect. I'll continue. I do apologize for that. I, I, I tested today and I, I'm sure everything was good today, but now when it's time to do the stream, everything goes crazy. So thank you. Let's see. There you go. Thank you, Steve. Perfect. And it's clear. Um, so thank you. Steve said, I heard you briefly when you were just in the Yeti. The, the Yeti still needs a little bit more Justin. I don't know. I'll do that at another time. Um, Haley, I can hear you now. Perfect. And there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. So first I want to take a moment to thank everyone that have already subscribed to my channel. I really, really, really appreciate you. Thank you for being patient with me. I am new at this YouTube thing and I am definitely excited about the journey that I'm about to get on. So I just wanna thank you guys for starting this thing with me, starting this journey with me because I know um, it takes a lot and I've been doing a lot, but I know that I've been having so much support from, from you guys and I'm thankful for that. So please comment, drop a comment when you come in so I can acknowledge you, I can say hello. Right now I have my mom on, I have Steve on, I have my daughter Haley on, and we have a special guest that is waiting to come in. So please do not go anywhere. Do not go anywhere because we have someone coming in and I just wanna give you guys, like I always do some confetti, some confetti and a round of applause for everyone that has already subscribed to the channel and that is definitely watching and supporting thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you now you guys know me i love affirmations i love affirmations and i do not start a live stream without a positive statement without the positive words uh when i start my stream i'm gonna go a little bit faster i may just do one tonight because we do have a guest and we want to get all the information that we need so i am going to pull a few out we know that using words of affirmation um, and believing them and using them repeatedly, you know, you can change your life. Positive words are so essential in our daily lives because it helps release us from that fear, that worry, that anxiety. Okay, so one of my products on my website is a affirmation jar, and I'll show it to you here. And I do have another one that's an inspirational jar. And basically, it is it's words of affirmation to speak over your life. Um, declare your healing, the, the, speak life over yourself, declare your salvation, decree your healing, peace and provision and receive God's bountiful blessings. So when we use these words of affirmation, we are declaring some things, right? We're putting some things into the atmosphere. So I'm going to go ahead and read two tonight and share that with you. And the first one is one that I read last night. So I'm actually, Tuesday, I'm actually going to go in and get another one. That one is coming up a lot. I am victorious. I am victorious. You want to speak that over yourself, okay? Speak it, affirm it, affirm it that you are victorious, okay? I am brilliant. That's another one. Tell yourself that you can do everything. I am rare. I am rare. And there's no one else. There's no two people on this earth alike. There's no two people on this earth alike. So that one says, I am rare. And I love these words of affirmation because it's it builds my confidence, right? It builds my confidence. And that is what you will get when you use these words daily. That is what you will get when you use these words on a daily basis. It builds your confidence. It encouraging, encourages you to continue to move on, correct? And to, to live that life that you want to live to live that life that you want to live and without fear, without doubt, right? I am awesome. I am unique. I am loved. I am whole. That is words that is positive to, to bring about a change in your life. Okay. So that is perfect. Wayne says loud and clear. Thank you, Wayne. Had a little issue, but I'm going now. Okay. So now I'm going to, um, I want to talk about two things before we bring our guest on. Um, I talked about this started on 3rd of August. I am looking for a hashtag for my channel and it's a hashtag to brand on some products that I'm going to be putting out. So I'm looking for a really nice hashtag and I will be doing that until the 31st of August. And on the 31st of August, I will be announcing a winner and they're going to get a 
they are going to be getting a, a gift. No, I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. Oh, oh, I almost slipped. They're going to be getting a good prize, a really big prize. My daughter was asking me today, Mommy, what is the prize? What is the prize? I want to know what the prize is. I want to know the prize. And I'm like, mm, can't tell you, can't tell you. Um, so please drop a comment, drop it in the chat. If you have a, a, a hashtag, I'm going to be pulling a winner on the 31st. And we're definitely going to be um, talking about that a little bit more. So that is the first thing I want to talk about. And then I'm going to go right into question of the week. And the question that we talked about on Thursday is, we're going to jump right into question of the week, is what areas in your life you would like to change or you want to change? What are areas in your life that you would want to change? And drop that in, a ch in the chat, pop it in. And we'll also be doing a winner. Hopefully someone answers tonight so I can have a winner tonight to be able to share something with you guys tonight. Okay. So please drop that in the chat. And since this is live stream, I can do so many different things with this thing. This right here. Let me lock that in. Okay. So that is the question of the week. What areas in your life would you want to change and change for the better? I'm sure. So Go ahead and pop. We'll talk a little bit about, more about it later. Go ahead and drop that in the chat so I can pop your comments up and we can go ahead and add you into the wheel to be pulled for um, a prize today. All right. Now it is time. It is time. It is time to jump in, jump right on in to this segment, Think Big Inspiration. Now, I, just, I came up with this when I started this live stream. I wanted to be able to, to, share, um, to share other organizations in the community. People are doing so many great things. And we're talking about young people. They are doing so many good things in, the, in, in their community and, tr and making a difference. And I created this little um, segment in my stream to be able to um, showcase some of what they're doing and to help get the word out for their organization because they're doing big things. I myself have a, non, have a nonprofit and I am pushing it and I'm growing it, but I thought about it and I said, you know, there's so many others that I can share that's doing different things. So this next segment that we're going into is Think Big Inspiration. And we are going to be having a guest on that is going to talk to us about her organization and what she's doing, what she's planning on doing, her events that's coming up. And she's going to give us some, tell us a little bit about herself as well, some highlights. And we're going to go ahead and um, have her on tonight. And it's the lovely, 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 lovely Dana Brianna from Rebirth. And we're going to have her come right on in. We're going to add her to the stream. And I want you all I want you all to welcome her. I want you all to welcome her. I want you all to welcome her. Here, I have Mommy Lala just jumped in. Hi, Mommy Lala. Thanks for stopping by. We have a guest on tonight, Dana Brianna from Rebirth. And she's on tonight. I can't hear you yet, Mama. Um, let me see. If you, let me know when you're... You, I can still can't okay. hear you. You know? Not yet. Okay. Let me see. Mommy Lala says, hi, Dana. Hi. Let me see. Keep talking. Let me know when. Um, you're muted now, so unmute yourself. Okay. Okay. Working now? Let me see why I'm not hearing you. <clears throat> No, not working. Okay. No. No. Okay, what is going on with the mic tonight? Hello, hello. Okay, hold on. Let me turn your volume up because your volume is way down. Okay. All 
Okay, so apparently everyone else is hearing you except for me. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> everyone else, because Mommy Lala can hear her. Um, and uh, Annie, Annie Curtis can hear you. Okay. Um, Dana audio is okay, Samantha. It's loud and clear. Perfect. So I can't hear her though. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Why am I not hearing her? What am I doing wrong? Why mm -hmm. can't I hear you? Oh. Stream yard, stream yard, stream yard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see, because I cannot hear her. So there's no way I can continue until I can get to hear her. Let's see what's going on. Audio. Okay, that's why. Okay, go ahead and talk, Dana. Okay, can you now? Go ahead oh. and talk, sweetheart. I can hear you clearly now. I can okay, hear you clearly. Okay. There you go. I can hear you. See there? I'm don't guys. This is a uh, this is going to be fun tonight, okay? So welcome, 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 welcome Dana. I am so glad that you are here tonight to join us on this live stream. And let me tell you, I am wearing, I don't know if you can see, but I am wearing my shirt. Woman I'm that brave. Really? Yes, I am. I decided to pull it out tonight. I wow. am wearing it. You can't really see it, but I am oh. wearing it. Oh my and God. I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. I got to wear that shirt shirt, so that we can talk a little bit about it before we get into this new event. And it was a woman event that you, this is the second year that I've, that I've been to yes, the event, yes. right? And it's a powerful, oh. powerful night. Oh my gosh. And we, I was able to be a part of this last yeah. one that you did um, earlier this year. Was it this yeah. year? Yes. Um, and and I'm so I was so grateful that I was able to be a part of that. Okay, what 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 inspired you to do um, women that pray? Oh my gosh. Okay, so okay. women that pray is a now ministry. At the time, I didn't know it was a ministry, but it's a ministry that um, was birthed just out of pain and prayer. Um, I was at a really just gray space in my life, and I just kept praying and praying and praying to God, and I kept telling Him, you know, where are some other women that you know? Lost you, lost your volume. Okay, I lost your volume. Hold on, guys. I don't know. If... Okay, I lost I lost your volume and then you just went out a little. Still can't hear you, not yet. No. You can't hear me? No. What is going on with the audio? Nothing changed with the audio on my end. Okay, so no audio. Your audio is gone now, Dana. Try your audio again because your audio just went out. Yeah, they can't hear you. So you have no audio now. So see what I don't know what how you just lost. Can you hear me still? Say yes, no. Go ahead and talk, Dana. Let me see. No, I'm not hearing. Still not hearing. Oh, Lala says hi. Okay, they can hear, but I can't hear her. If you can hear her and me at the same time, let me know because maybe it's um, so the, the the audio just keeps going in and out. 
Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's working. But I can't hear you. No, your audio is completely gone. I need, let me edit mic settings. What is going on? Hearing you, Sam. Okay, what about Dana? Can you hear Dana as well? Okay, go ahead. Yes, leave and come back in. I heard that. Try it again. Okay, I apologize. She's going to try to pop back in. So when she comes back in, we will um, bring her back on. Let me see. Um, Mommy Lala says, we'll love to join women that pray. I need several solo moms and ladies Bible study group. Hopefully we can all, all attend. Okay, so we're going to talk about an event that Dana is doing here next year in May. And that is something, Mommy Lala, that you can attend. So stick around for that. We're definitely going to get into that after um, in a little while. Mommy says, no, no. Okay, I know that. Let's bring her back in. Let's add her back in and see if that's better. Try okay. now, Dana. Okay, gotcha. Perfect, and I can hear gotcha. you too. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. The devil is a liar. Yes, wow. He is a liar. That's okay. That is all right. Okay, so just about women that pray. That is something that I, I and Mommy Lala just said she would love to join something like that. And Mommy Lala is in... um is in the Philippines. Oh, wow. So for Destin, it'd be something great, you know, for her to join on that as well. So we'll definitely talk to her about that a little bit later as well. Absolutely. Um, my mom says, Mommy Lala, let's pray right now. We can go ahead and start with a word of prayer before we get into it. Absolutely. Want to do the honors? Sure. Go ahead. We're going to have a prayer, Mommy Lala, and then we'll get right on into this um, rebirth. All right. All right. So God, we just come to you right now, God. Amen. We just thank you for this time. We thank you for this moment. We thank you that this time, God, that you orchestrated this time. You predestined this yes, time. Yes, Lord before it came it it came tonight so god we just thank you for this moment god we pray oh god that right now god that you will wash us and cleanse us god we want to be right before you before yes, we even god, ask for anything or tell you anything god we ask oh god that you would just forgive us god forgive us from anything oh god that we may have said or done that wasn't pleasing unto you god so that these prayers can reach you so now god we just for yes, the whole we for everyone in the audience watching god we pray oh god a special blessing upon them even now god whatever yes. they're going through whatever they're facing god even as the enemy tries to interrupt this broadcast god we yes. bind up the yes. enemy Lord, bind them in god, the name of jesus tonight. oh god your work shall go forth tonight god your word shall go forth tonight your encouragement shall go forth tonight yes, god Lord. let's study God, come to know you even here on this broadcast tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, God, for what's getting we ready to happen you. and the conversation you. that we're getting ready to have. We thank you, oh God, that you have just seen this moment before we could. And we just give you the honor, the thanks, yes. and the praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Now, the devil needs to watch out. <laughs> he needs to watch out. Okay, so let me go ahead and switch my screen. Amen and amen, Mommy Lala. Amen. All right, now, Dana, you are yeah. a young woman, right? That's yeah. making such an impact in your community. Okay, making an impact. I mean, you are reaching for some stars, right? Yeah. Tell yeah. us a little bit about your vision, a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your vision. Okay, so I am Dana, also known as Dana Brianna. Um, I am 26, I'll be 27 this year. And um, I am the founder of a nonprofit called The Rebirth Inc. Um, and we are a nonprofit that seeks to empower women in the community to birth the best version of themselves at all costs. So we really, we, we just started you know, we just officially launched in January. We kind of did okay. behind the work scenes um, um, prior to January, but we have, we became official this year in January. And we're just okay. excited about everything that we're getting ready to do, everything we have in store to do. And we're really excited. 
Great. Now, I know you said um, that, you know, your your mission, your goal mm-hmm. is in the is to empower women in the community yes. to be a best version of themselves at all costs. Yes. And that stood out to me. That really stood out to me. Elaborate a little bit more on that part. Um, you know, how you plan on doing that. Just elaborate on just that one part. Best version of themselves at all costs, no matter what. That yes. is your vision. That is your mission. Exactly. So I come in contact with a lot of women who are in different stages in life, different going through different processes. And what I find that they say a lot is, you know, they always stop or, you know, something happens in their lives that causes them to you know, push back a little bit. And I'm like, no, you know, I want to be a voice of reason for women to continue their process, continue pushing, continue going through, continue to, you know, just accomplish things at at all costs, especially for themselves, you know, continue to do the work that you want to do in yourself, no matter what's happening around you, no matter what. No matter what the pressures are, because a lot of times as women too, we are emotional. So when things happen, you know, when things doesn't go as planned, we are quick to, you know, not complete that task. Yes. So having such an organization that will empower us to continue Right. You know, it's 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 an awesome, awesome thing you're doing. It's an awesome thing you're doing, and I'm so grateful to say that you're a young woman. You're not an older. You're young, <laughs> right? And you are trying to do something at this age, and that is something that I want to just lift my hands to you and say, "Good job, Dana. Good job," and continue to push through on that. Thank you. So, so um, how do you? What are things? What are ways? How do you plan on meeting this mission? What are things that you can that women can expect that you're going to be doing to meet those needs of um, of the women? What do you what do you plan on doing? What is your um, mission, I would say? So we do this through empowerment resources and accountability. Those are like our our things. we plan to have a lot of conferences, a lot of workshops, a lot of okay. seminars, a lot of things where women can come and be educated. I found that, you know, through my own life's journey that a lot of things that I did in my life, I did because I just didn't know any better. No one taught me, you know, the right way or not even the right way, but no one taught me, you know, the tools and the strategies that I needed to navigate through a lot of things as a woman. Um, You know, I have friends and I, of course, have my mother and everything like that, but it wasn't accountability. I didn't have anyone to hold me accountable in a lot of the areas of my life. Um, So we really, really um, stress education educating women in a lot of different avenues. That is awesome. I have a comment here from Mommy Lala. She says, it's a blessing to see indeed such a young woman so intentionally doing the work of the Lord. And Dana, that is awesome. That is something that I'm, like I said, lift my hands to you, that you are doing the work of the Lord and not just doing it, but doing it intentionally. You are doing it intentionally to reach these women at a place where they need it the most, right. where they need it the most, right? right. Mm-hmm. I know this is a, a, a fairly new organization, right? Just started, just birthed. You just yes. birthed this little baby, right? Yes. <laughs> but yet, Dana, your vision is yes. so big. It is extremely big, right? What? Give us some areas or some things that you want to target, right? And why these areas are so important to you. Yes. So some areas that we want to target is um, we want to target um, the financial aspect of a woman. You know, a lot of times, you know, we make poor financial decisions or, again, we're just not educated on how to handle or spend money or even save money. And that was a big thing for me growing up. um, That was something that, again, I wasn't taught. You know, I didn't have anyone to really show me the ins and outs. So when I went to make big purchases or when I went to do, you know, life changing things financially, you know, it kind of fell through the cracks because I didn't have that piece. So finances, motherhood. Oh my gosh. I have two precious babies and I love them with all my heart and the joys of being a mother. Like I wouldn't trade it for the world. So we definitely 
to have an impact on on the motherhood aspect because it's not easy it's not easy but it's very rewarding so we definitely want to target that area uh, we also want to target the spiritual aspect of a woman um, and that's kind of where the extension of women that pray comes in um, and the ministry side of it that we offer to the community as well um, to come and pray come and allow God to fill you come and lay down your burdens come and know that you're not alone come and see other women come and embrace you and that's why i really really love um women that pray because it's just a time where god literally has his way so those are some of the areas okay and i i know this when i was reading through your information um you had told me about um having like women how would i say it um funding a housing program to help yes. women. Yes. What are some ways you plan on targeting those needs, like financially, womanhood, um, wifehood, financial wealth? What are some ways that you're gonna do, things that you're gonna do to target and meet those needs? So, um to speak on the housing project that we plan to do we are fairly new yes but the vision is very big like yeah. we um mentioned before it's, it's big and it's possible dana okay? i believe it, that i believe yeah. that the Definitely enemy would like to tell me that it's not you know and fight me in that area but i believe that you know god is literally going to see this thing happen and i, I i'm i'm very excited about it so um one of the goals that we have is to provide um to do like a housing project where we provide some sort of housing for women who are in transition women who um you know even have kids that you know need help to get on their feet or you know just kind of are going through a lot of right things, you know, that women go through. Um, and, and I'll say this, you know, I was, it was a point where I was separated from my husband and I had nowhere to turn. I had nowhere to go. And, you know, it dawned on me then, and this was years ago, it dawned on me then, like, wow, wouldn't it be awesome if my community has somewhere for, you know, women who are just, you know, struggling, you know, women who have different situations that happen, you know, cause life happens to all of us. Life, you know, is That's always true. going to, 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 there's continue. always a transition. There's always a transition. You have to get from one place to the next and to have something in place like that to meet them at that need, because not yeah. everybody's going to have the same situation, right? Not everybody is going to be going through the same thing, but to have something in place to say you fell or you this that you lost your job COVID just yeah. happened and so right. many things happen and these organizations are in place to help people that are in that that position a woman that probably had a good job right yeah. had a husband had everything and due, due to COVID all of that changes how do you get right. back on your feet after going through something like that so drastically in a split in a split moment right not that you you did anything wrong or you planned right. for it but it just happened how do you transition? How do you start over? How do you get to get to that that point? And I know you said about your husband. I know your husband is away um, in in the army, so it's yeah. not separation separation. But he's away, yeah. so you're here with the kids on your own. Yeah. And I know that must be tough. And think about and you are by yourself, and you're doing this to help other women. So I really, I am like, I'm thinking about it, Dana, and I'm saying, you are by yourself, and yet you are here helping other women right to transition mm -hmm. to, to to be able to stand again on their feet because and the, the truth is i've been talking about this all week we don't mm -hmm. know the situations we go through sometimes the, the the things that god allows to go through it's not for us and we sometimes get get so so um bogged down on it and so and talk about mm -hmm. it and get frustrated and get annoyed but god is putting you through something to help somebody else to yeah. be able to start an organization right to be able to do these things to allow his glory to be seen his glory to come because god gives gives us vision a lot of times he gives us things and we are so stubborn right <laughs> we are so stubborn mm -hmm. we no oh, it's not for me i don't know what to do nobody's not going to come nobody's not going to yeah. want to be a part nobody's not going to want to come and pray what girl is going to who's going to want to come yeah. and pray no, ma'am. I, wa I walked through those doors and the, the place could not keep everybody in there. It was <laughs> filled. So we have to step out on faith and yeah. do what God asks us to do. OK, this is a great thing you're doing, Dana, a great thing you're doing in the community. And the community needs a visionary like you. 
the, the community needs a visionary like you. And I definitely want to thank you for the drive you have and, you know, stand, the stand that you have for women. Amen. You are doing something powerful. Um, what is, what is your motivation? What is your motivation to start such a, I know you talked a little bit about it, but I want you to go a little bit more in detail. What is your motivation to start such a dynamic organization? What um, motivated you? Honestly, I have a heart to serve and that that's just the 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 simplicity of of it all i really have a heart to serve um to serve people and and who i identify with most is women and i i just get so satisfied and feel so rewarding when I see a woman who's able to go from brokenness to wholeness. When I see a woman who's able to uh, uh, birth the best version of herself, you know, right. to come from a place of, you know, stagnant, being stagnant, to come from a place of, you know, being down or hurt or, you know, these different things that women go through and then to blossom. You know, the Bible says God will give us beauty for ashes. And I love that entire process. Yes, that is so true. that is motivation because is I serve and to see the results um, that God does in his women through me. Yep. All right. Mommy Lala says, indeed, Dana prayers for all the plans that you have. So she sent in prayers for you. And I know that everyone else is doing the same, just hearing the things that you are doing and that you are planning to do. And such, such big, I mean, <laughs> huge Dana, but I am definitely, 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 definitely no problem. We know what you meant, Mommy Lala. I know you meant Dana. So I read it for you as Dana. Yes. We knew what you meant. Okay. And I mean, such dedication to Dana. When we were at the, when I was at the woman that pray, I saw your dedication. I saw that you were dedicated to this thing. It wasn't about you. It was about the people. You wanted the people. You wanted all the women that was there to come to the altar and cry out, right? And let God come in and birth. And the women, the lineup that you had that night, oh, they spoke to so many of those ladies there. Right. God, no, God has a plan for you, sweetheart. He has a plan for you. And I know that God is going to put you in alignment Thank you. where he wants you to go. Do what he wants you to do. So don't let anything tell you. It's, it's a it's a big task. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now it is a big task. So let me say it again. It is a big task. <laughs> Be ready. It is a big task. Get it out. Get it out there. Get it out. there. It's a big task. But guess what you are? You are victorious. Amen. OK, you are victorious to accomplish all these goals because you're not doing it for yourself you're doing it for the women of god you're doing it for people that needs to come in and meet their savior to yeah. be coming and connect with god yeah. so i'm telling you that you have a, you're going to have a lot of supporters you will have supporters you're going to have some people that may but you will have people that's going to stand with you and help you see this vision through as it should OK, so let's talk a little bit about this upcoming event and get all the details. I'm sure everyone wants to know about that. Get all the details for this event coming up. Tell us about it, Dana, this women's retreat that you are having. Oh, my God. So God laid it on my heart to have a more intimate um, setting that women can come and be restored and be poured okay. into lost you again i'm so sorry someone called me go. i put my phone on airplane mode so we won't have any more um okay. interruptions but um <clears throat> yeah so god laid it on my heart to um have a more intimate se um setting where women can come and be restored be poured into um you know where we can kind of bond together and form that community um that a lot of us seek and just have an experience and not only um, just a regular experience. He really impressed upon my heart a luxury experience. And let me tell you why. Because a lot of times, us women, we feel like we can't have the finer things of life. We feel like we can't experience the finer things of life. You know, there's a real limiting mindset when it comes to, you know, doing certain things or investing in yourself. And I want to show people that it is okay to invest in yourself. I want to show other women because that's what I had to do. I don't do anything that 
I don't do first. That's what I had to do. I had to invest in myself, find the right people. And they weren't cheap, you know, and I and I understand that because um, what people have to offer is of value and what what it does for you, you know, is transformation. So he impressed upon my heart to have this women's luxury retreat. So we will be going to Destin, Florida. It is next year in May, um, May 20th to May 23rd. Um, and we're it's just going to have a it's a weekend yes. event. It's a it Friday, is. Saturday, yes. Sunday event. Monday. Yep. We leave Monday. So, um, yeah, and we're going to have some amazing women come and speak to us. Some amazing women, women come and teach us, um, we're just gonna have an amazing time, bonding sessions. We're gonna have um, moments where we can release because that's very important. In order for you to birth the next version, there has to be a releasing. There has to be something that yep. takes place prior um, to. So it's gonna be amazing. We cannot wait. We have a, um, a 10 bedroom, 11 bathroom um, home in Destin that awaits us. Um, we're going to be um, just um, having um, fine dining, we have a private chef that's gonna come and cook all our oh, meals. Oh no, that that yes, that that sounds like something that I, everybody needs to get to. That you said ten bedrooms. How? What's the capacity? How many people can get can um go to this event? So we you haven't have, like, put a, off. Okay. No, we haven't no. put a cap on it yet because we just okay. want to see the numbers and monitor it that way. Because I don't, again, I don't want to limit, um, limit it, right? The amount, but at the same time, we still want it to be an intimate setting. So we okay. haven't, we don't have a cap on it um, okay. as yet. Um, but it is live. You can see all the information on my website. Um, www. Okay, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get definitely okay. gonna get into that and and let everybody know how they can support and and be a part of it if they cannot go they can still support yeah. it they can still support you and your organization and what you're doing so this is very refreshing destin florida yes. an intimate setting a private chef yes. private right chef. private chef yes. definitely <laughs> something for everyone to think about all the women if, and we're going to talk a little about a little bit more about as well women that cannot afford to go how we can get supporters for them as well and maybe someone knows someone that they will love to send to that event yes. to be blessed and to be able to be renewed they may need a little bit of time off you said may what? next year maybe need, need a little bit of time off and then how will women's life now everybody you want to get them to come but how Will their lives be changed after they attend this event? What are some life changing things that you 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 know you see forehand that they will get when they at attend this event? So I am a very practical person. I love practicality. So it's it's fine to talk about things, but we want to do exercises. And that's one thing that um, we mm -hmm. really put in place and we're intentional about doing certain exercises. And I won't really go into detail. You got to come to. Got to come. No. Got to come. I'll be <laughs> but, there. Yes. The ones. <laughs> do, <laughs> doing exercises that really do work on the inside of us. Um, I think that is so important. A lot of times we don't take the intentional time to sit and do certain things that will expose things on the inside of us, do certain things that would tell us the areas that, you know, we need to um, 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 get right or fixed or work on, you know, do certain certain things that will, you know, pull out of us what we've been too scared to pull out of us. Um, so there also be um, women coming and I handpicked these women. I prayed and I asked God to show me who do, um, you know, you want to come and partner with this vision to make sure that um, it's life changing, right? To make sure that women leave um, not the same that they came. And he, you know, he dealt with me and he showed me some women. We have um, a, an amazing friend of mine. She's coming that um, dealt with uh, trauma in her life and the way she was able to turn her life around. I mean, her testimony alone is enough <laughs> to change your whole perspective, to, 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 to change your whole mindset. Um, and we deal with the mind as well um, at this retreat. So, um, those are just some of the ways. And like I said, it's going to be awesome, man. Self-development um, while they're experiencing luxury, right? Yeah. From, a, yeah. from an inner place, right? Yeah. From an inner place. You're talking about from the inside. You're working on them from the inside. And that's where we need to go. We need to start. 
it's fixing the inside. And once you Absolutely. are able to get there, then everything else, everything else would, would, would work, fall right into place. Um, Yuli says, um, awesome. I enjoyed women that pray. That's mom. Yes, I enjoyed I women that pray who pray and definitely want to be a part of the retreat. Awesome. Sounds great. Luxurious. And you know, mom is all over that. Thing. Yes. She is all I over know. that. <laughs> Okay, so she says that, and let's see. Um, hi, Mommy Lala. This is Steve coming on. Um, how are you, Mommy Lala? Steve wants to know how you're doing. So that is that is awesome, Dana. Um, that is very something that you know we don't do that every day. It's not something we do every day. And a lot of times, like you said, it's luxurious. It's teaching women how to love themselves and how to take care of themselves, invest in themselves, right. and get in a way. And the thing is, we don't do that often enough. No, especially when we have kids. We're we oh, don't man. think of when we when we start having kids, we start to think about the kids more than we think about ourselves. And then right. we have to get back to the place to understand that we need to be at a place where we are whole, we are full, we are complete, yeah. we are okay to be able to take care of those children. We yeah. cannot just you know forget about ourselves we need to invest in us too because that's the only way we're not going to get burned out stressed out and then yelling at the kids rampantly yes. and you know not taking care of them them well because we're, we're, we're we have so much pressures and so much things on our heads and it's good to get a retreat like this to be able to go out and to be able to to, to release mm -hmm. so i am looking forward i'm definitely looking forward to um that weekend dana with my little bumblebee i know one of the little bumblebee may not want to stay away i don't know how mom <laughs> she, mom's gonna go so she can sleep in the other room with him and then we switch out we will definitely definitely be talking well you know we'll talk about that later of course so if anyone if anyone would like to support dana um if anyone would like to support her let me let me see okay one second Mommy Lala, Steve, Mommy Lala, she's doing great. Just a bit busy, she says. She says, hope everything is good and well. Okay. So um, if anyone, let me drop this in here. If anyone would like, if anyone, do not go too fast. If anyone would like to support um, this vision, this yes. organization, um, they can visit www.dana, D-A-N-A, Brianna, B-R-I-A-N-A.com. Yes. You can visit that website. She also has Facebook, Instagram. Da Instagram is Dana.Brianna. Don't forget the period. Yes. Dana.Brianna. And then Facebook is just Dana Brianna. Yes. Check her out. She's doing awesome. She's doing awesome, awesome, awesome. And is there any other ways that people can support the retreat or organization, like for someone else? What are other ways they can support it? Yes. So we're currently looking for our sponsors. We're currently looking for people who just want to partner with the vision in any way. Um, like you said earlier, if there's a woman that you know who you would love to attend this retreat, um, you can definitely, um, you know, sponsor a woman. You can definitely reach out to us. There's plenty of ways. There's plenty of ways. We have a lot of things um, that you can give to. We, we're going to have giveaways. So if you want to donate a giveaway, um, you can do so as well um there there's ample amount of ways um if you simply just don't know what you want to do and you want to just email us and say hey i don't want to i don't know what i want to do but i would just love to help in any way i can we would definitely get you all the ways that you can help and you can choose from that okay so, and they can also come on your social media platforms as well and support yes. By yes. sharing your your post or commenting or sharing it with a, a, a family or a friend, Absolutely. just you know, just sharing the information. A lot of times, it's not monetary gifts alone that support that people that people think that it has to be money. It doesn't always have to no. be monetarily. You can just share a post. You can just say it to someone. There's this lady in, that's doing a, a woman tree that you will love. You will be you know great if you go to this. It's in Destin, Florida. Just just check it out. A lot of times we just need to support each other. And I'm big on that on this channel. It's supporting, sharing what someone else is doing, not just about me, sharing what someone else is doing in the community, how they are growing, the things that they're doing to empower people, to empower women, to empower, to, to teach children, to educate and 
just sharing a post, you post something on social media that's uplifting and encouraging, just share it. Yeah. Just share it so yeah. someone else, and you never know. A lot of times I go on, just a little quick jump in here. A lot of times I go on Facebook and I have a message or something that the Lord has made on my heart and I write it up and I send it through Messenger. And a lot of times I do it and I say, should I say it? I don't know these people because people send me friends requests all the time and I, I normally screen them first. And then, you know, if I accept it, I'll send them a little message. Thank you for accepting. You know, thank you for sending me a friend request. And I always do a word of encouragement. And yeah. I get so many responses like this is I needed this. Wow. Thank you. God spoke to you because this is what I was going through this morning. And I am glad that you sent me this message. And sometimes that's all we need. That is all we need to to continue the journey because sometimes i get discouraged dana and i'm like i'm not doing this anymore nobody's not coming on my live <laughs> yeah nobody's not watching me nobody's not supporting there's nobody on here like one night i came on it was just me and i still did it i yeah. pushed through because i know that god gave me a vision and i will do it to the ability that i have now yeah. see this is what i'm talking about mom says she's not no not mom she's not <laughs> watching the kids She's not watching. <laughs> Mom said, I want to come too. And that's okay. Wow. We'll figure that out. Okay. So mommy Lala will definitely check you out. She said, check out social, check out your socials, Dana, and how to support in any which way. Thank you, mommy. Lala. She's from the Philippines. Wow. And I met her on YouTube. Wow. So this is something that I am definitely going to be pushing a little bit more. I will have you back on again. Of course. Yes. Go to the time so we can talk a little bit more about it, how it's going, and get some more information out there. I will continue to, just, you know, every other month we get you on and we com yes. communicate whatever you're, you're needing so we can get your events up and get it going. And, and uh, honestly, the ultimate goal is for women to come and to get something, Absolutely. to not leave the way they came. That is the goal. And I am here to help you with that goal. Okay. I am here for you. You know that. Okay. Yeah. I Is know. <laughs> there any special, special message that you would like to share with us before you go? I'm not done with my stream, but I normally do a few more things at inspiration at the end and just some QA. So if you want to stick around, you're welcome to join into that. If not, um, you know, if you have a special message and you want to leave, you can let me know. If not, you can stick around till the end. I'll probably be wrapping up in the next 10 or so minutes. Okay. So is there any special message you would like to leave with us to share with us tonight before you go? Yes. Um, so I would just share that um, to anyone, any woman that may be feeling like, you know, they have to do life alone. They have to do things alone. You know, they're a one man island and it's just me and that's it. I just want to let you know that you, you, you were not created to do life alone. You know, you were not created to do life alone. And we as women, you know, we're more alike than we are different. So if we can partner together and help each other along the way, um, that will make the world of difference. And we are here, you know, Samantha is here. I am here, you know, to, to do this thing with you, you know, to give you the encouragement and pour into you in the areas that, you know, you may need it. Um, so I do want to um, leave that. And um, again, I just want to thank you for having me on. Oh, you know, definitely. I'm I so appreciate all the love, all the support that you continuously give. Um, it definitely makes the world of difference. So I thank you. And I thank you for coming on as well, for sharing with us, for encouraging me as well, for letting me know that I have somewhere to go and pray when I need it, right? I have somewhere to go and retreat to when yes. I need a retreat. So I am definitely, definitely thankful for you as well. I am grateful that you're on the show tonight. And I know everyone that came on and commented is, is happy to have you on, is grateful that you're here and love the work that you're doing as well in the community. So I am definitely grateful for that. And we'll definitely have you on the show again. So I <laughs> want to thank you, Dana, the lovely, lovely, lovely Dana Brianna. You can check her out, <laughs> danabrianna.com. And her IG at Dana.Brianna. You can find her on social media. You can find her as a social media. We are on um, Facebook, IG, mm -hmm. 
and that's just those two facebook and ig okay yes. facebook and ig you can find her on there easy right she don't have twitter all this other stuff facebook and ig dana dot brianna or dana brianna and check her out please check her out support where you can check out her website Yes. Leave a comment somewhere. Just let her know that you are here tonight and show her some love from Inspirational Connection TV. Do not let her feel like she don't have love. You know we love over here. So show her some love. Let her know that you watch the stream. And replayers, please go check her out and leave a comment and just give her a round of applause for everything. Let me give you some clap, 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 because I love claps, right? We're going to give you some clap. We're going to give you some clap if I can find it. There you go. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming, Dana. If you want to stick around, you can. Um, if you want to stick around, you can. I normally do some inspiration now, right? So we know um, that we all need daily inspiration. We all need daily inspiration. And that is another one of my products that I have. Um, and it's the inspirational jar. Right. And it's basically filled with a positive quotes that's designed to get you through your day. OK, and they are scriptures. And I always leave one before I end my stream to just inspire everyone, to uplift, to motivate, to encourage. You don't, never you never know what you're going through and someone may need this word. So I never leave a, my stream. I try not to. Sometimes I think I forgot once and I, it killed me. <laughs> I didn't do it, but I was so nervous. Oh my gosh. And you don't want to know what it is. <laughs> now, this is what I'm going to leave after we talked about all of that. Mm -hmm. This is what I am going to leave with you tonight. When life gets too hard to stand, mm -hmm. kneel. Yes. When life gets too hard to stand, just kneel. Now, that is something that I want to let you guys know. There's no nothing else to do. The song says, when you have done all that you can do. So when life gets too hard and you cannot do anything else, you cannot do anything else. You cannot do anything else. I think Mommy Lala has something. You cannot do anything else. The best thing to do is kneel, is kneel. Okay, Mommy Lala, subscribe on YouTube and follow on Facebook. Subscribe oh. on, you have a YouTube channel too, Dana. I you do. do. And she's following you on Facebook. Thanks, Mommy Lala. Thank mm -hmm. you. So check her out. Check her out. She's on YouTube as well. Has a little YouTube channel going. Mm -hmm. So that is something that I want to leave with you tonight is when you, um, no, I don't forget it. When life gets too hard to stand, Lee, you can just kneel and you can find more of those products on my website. Um, the link is also in the description somewhere below in this in this channel, inspired by Samantha Matthews.com. There's also a lot of great products on there, inspirational products and things of that nature. So before I go, I am going to do one more thing and it's question and answer time. And I think you guys can see you may not see me, but you guys can see that. Let me put it back out a little bit um or do it this way okay perfect so we talked a little bit more um a little bit about the hashtag for the channel and it started august 3rd and it's going to end on august 31st so i'm looking for a hashtag you know think of something and put it in the chat when you come on or if you watch the replay put it in the chat i will be announcing a winner and they will be getting a great prize for that okay also for um, the Think Big Inspiration, which is a segment that we had Dana on tonight. If you would like to be a part of that, please send me an email at info at inspiredbysamanthamatthews.com so we can get you on the show and share what it is that you are doing in the community, okay? So if you want to be a part of that, if you want to do an interview, you may not have an organization, you may just want to come on, do an interview, have a little chit chat or a collaboration or something with me, then you can also email that same email, info at inspiredbysamanthamatthews.com. I do try to do prices and giveaway weekly. I try to do that. I keep telling you guys I want to give stuff away, but it's okay. I'll keep it, right? <laughs> but I do have want to be able to give some prizes away. And there's also three ways that you can support my channel. Um, if you came on tonight and you're not subscribed, 
please subscribe and share my channel and come back again on Tuesday to watch. I'm having, I can't even say right now, you guys got to wait to see the thumbnail when I send it out, but I'm having an awesome, awesome, awesome person on next week, Tuesday. You do not want to miss it. You can also shop on my website. You can also um, go to buymeacoffee.com slash Samantha Matthews if you would like to support the channel as well. And um, also, I have other videos on my channel. Um, the last one I did was Don't Give Up. Want to check it out. And I am becoming more of what God intended for me to be. So check those videos out. When you have nothing else to do, watch it. You'll be blessed, you'll be encouraged, and you will be uplifted by those videos as well. So thank you guys all for coming. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dana, for coming on. For Let's having give me. some more confetti. <laughs> confetti is always good to have. <laughs> confetti is always good. I love confetti. Confetti is always good to have. Let me find find the confetti. Here, look at that. Look at that. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit the thumbs button up, the bell, so you will not you will be notified when I go live. All right. Then I wish I can give you some confetti too. But StreamYard doesn't give you confetti. Okay. I can give you some confetti too. I love the confetti. So thank you for watching, guys. Thank you so much for coming on and joining Dana. I thank you so much. I thank you so much for coming. And I pray that your event will be a success. It will be yeah. successful and the organization will grow and do just what, take it off now, and do <laughs> just what God wants you to do. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Thank you all for coming and see you guys on Tuesday, same time, same place, 830. And we'll have someone special on that you guys won't want to miss. All right. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Good night.